hi guys thanks for coming to my youtube channel and if this is your first time here you are welcome in this channel i share tips and advice how to run and build successful print on demand business mainly with sazo so on today's video guys i am going to share with you some of outdated print on demand things that you need to stop doing in 2024 and going forward because there are so many people now are getting into print on demand and i believe it's going to keep on still growing but you need to be really careful to know exactly what information you should be consuming and what information that you have to ignore or you have to leave behind. So guys, I thought to give my twist on some of the things that I think it's not really good to talk, to take forward 2024 and all, onward. So these are just some of my things I, I would suggest if you're doing it, you need to reconsider or either stop doing it. So guys, if you notice, I'm looking that side or down is because i'm checking the notes so i'm um, to make sure i give you guys the correct information because i don't want to mislead you so the first things i notice most of people they tend to give people advice is they will tell you load a lot of design load a lot of product just keep on adding the product in your store keep adding keep adding the problem with that because it's like they, they're taking you to a mindset the more product you have in your store the more like you feel like you, you should be selling or you're going to be selling. And that is kind of misleading because uh, the thing is you need to remember if you are just loading a thousand of product, you're adding a thousand of product in your store, just adding, 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 and you have no direction, you have no uh, customer focus or customers focus, it's going to be very difficult for you to have a consistent sale or to really build successful the store that is your known for because at the end of the day you will be getting sell one from the one sell day one day and then the next time day the next time day so you can't even actually focus because you you can't you don't know who you're serving because there's so much product in your store with so much different design and you don't even know who you are designing for so my suggestion your suggestion is remove this idea of having so much product i just keep on adding so much product in in your store my suggestion is that uh, try to focus on one particular client try to focus on one customer that you want to serve whether is you going to be focusing on motivation quotes whether it has to do with religion whether it's political whether it's for weddings whether something is for birthday you need to find either one particular client to focus on or client because you can have more than different client like more niches than what more niches than just one that way is much more better than you can see oh this uh, this particular niche is working better for me than these two and these three or this one but it, that is much it makes much more sense instead of having so much product in your store and then at the end of the day you're just getting sell they sell they you you don't know how to even plan for the future because uh, you're selling so many different uh product to different clients you don't know which particular customer to focus on so it's important that for you to really try to focus on one particular client or more than one hopefully guys that is making sense and the second tips also the second thing that you need to also be aware and stop trying to do in 2024 and onward is that um, they will tell you that load so much product and just uh, forget it because they, according to people are saying that is pa uh, passive uh, income. So just load so much product, you disappear for six months and disappear for a year. No, it doesn't work like that because having a, a online business, you need to see it just like uh, any other business, uh, like when people work in the office, the only difference with having online business, most of the time you choose your own hours. You want to work. You can move around a different country, depending on the type of the online business you have, like print on demand. You can work anywhere in the world, any area, as long as you have the internet access and the laptop or the phone. So the idea that you just uh, load thousands of product and disappear for six months or one, it doesn't 
doesn't work like that because you need to remember we are living in the world that uh, things are changing constantly every week every month something is happening people's mindset is changing people taste is changing things are changing so from time to time you have to observe the market depending sometime on the niche that you're working on you're focusing on that's why i'm saying it's important to know which niche you're focusing on which client in other words you're focusing on and then this is where it comes it comes very interesting so the point to what i'm saying it's instead of somebody telling you just load down the product and product disappear go in the beach go on holiday no because when you know who you are serving for who you're serving from time to time you can go in your store and you can observe what's happening in the world you can make some changes if you notice that it's not working they are there's this product is doing better you can make some changes as you go along but if you're not knowing or who you are serving and you just have thousands of product in that particular store and disappear and expect it to generate sell it doesn't work like that because like I said before, you treat it as a business because it's a business. The only difference is an online business. You're not seeing people physically, but it's still a business. So don't disappear, load thousand products and disappear. Always uh, from one, uh, maybe twice a week, once a week, go in your store, check what you need to change, what you need to update, what you need to fix, what you need to improve. There's always something to, to do because there's no such a thing that, oh, my business is perfect now. I can just relax and do nothing. No, there's always something to do in your business or either get second opinion to see what can I prove in my store? What can I do better or learn something new? So make sure that you don't disappear the old thousand product and disappear don't do that always keep an eye on your store check where you need to improve that's my second outdated uh point i wanted to discuss with you you need to stop disappearing and expecting sell be there for your business the next thing the next point is um you need to be aware of is um sticking only in your own ways so i see some people they've been on certain points of demand for a long time so they are used to doing things in the same way they are used to things being in the same way in the system nothing is changing and then when there's a change happen in that particular platform um, you find with, I see that some people, they don't want to change. They just like, uh, oh, the old work, the old way I used to do things, it used to be work better. I, I, they just want to stick in the old way. And this is really, you need to stop this. And some people, they think like, uh, oh, just stick in the old way. It's going to work. If it worked before, it's still going to work. No, you need to be careful. So if there's a platform, they are updating, they're adding new th uh, features. Like now we have um, AI, they are adding new features, the new things. You need to get yourself familiar with what is happening in that platform. And you need to be ready to adapt certain things. Yes, you might not adapt everything because you believe it's not going to work within your your market your 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 store whatever but make sure there are certain things they're adding they like you have to make sure that you yourself also are updated and they, you know get in the 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 rhythm like people say get into the path of what is happening because otherwise you're going to find yourself stuck or left behind like right now Zazu, they have made so much uh, updated they have uh, changed the way uh, collections used to be they have added uh, new features they made them much more different so you as a designer as a businessman or woman you also have to try to adapt how am i going to apply this into my store what do i need to change what do i need to keep up with like uh, um adding more uh, decor next to your product to make it more attractive so it gives the customer the customer knows oh this is for this i can use this one for this it, it gives them much more uh, to get attention when the customer sees it to buy your particular product so always keep updating and don't stick with your old ways and then finally number four i wanted to let you guys know um you need to also not just focus on the um, tagging search because i see some people they will say uh download my cheat sheet for uh the best tag uh, tag you can use the best title the best tagging tag 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 yes tagging in tag is important when it comes to when the customer are searching for your product to be found yes it's important but at the same time 
don't just focus on tagging. The reason I say that don't just focus on tagging because what sometimes tends to happen, you find a, a, a designer or a creator, they will make a beautiful uh, design or they put it on the product and they upload it, but they put tag, some of those tags, it does not even relate to the particular design they have or particular product. So it's kind of like the client is going to click on that product, but they're like, hmm, it's not really what I wanted. So it, oh, it might appear in the front of the customer when they're doing search, but the customer will be like, mm, why is this showing up here? It's, it's not what I wanted. So it's kind of like misleading. So it's important to focus on the tagging when it comes relating to your design or your product. Don't just focus on tagging, just looking for popular tags that you can add in your product because it's popular and because you be, um, the customer says, searching for that and your product is going to show up because you're going to remember your product may show off show up in that particular popular tag but the problem is you might not be get, you're not going to get the sales because it's misleading it's not what they wanted so use tags which is related to your design or your product don't just use tags because they are popular if like your your design doesn't have black and white don't put black and white on your tag. Why are you putting black and white when your design doesn't have that uh, black and white? Your design, maybe it's orange and then it has pinks, it has flowers, but you're putting something else. So in the way it's going to put the, cu the customer is going to get annoyed and leave either the, the platform, go to somewhere else, or they will jump you, they'll go to someone else and then you see all these views and then you're saying to yourself, I'm getting views, why am I not getting sell? The reason be because you're misleading between your design your product and the tag there's a disconnect so you have to make sure that you're connecting your tagging your title and the design the product everything have to work together in order for the customer to start to be happy with the product and to make that purchase so guys hopefully these are five outdated print on demand tips has helped you and has opened your eyes so i would like to hear your comments leave your comment below and I will try my best to answer all the comments. I also have my Zazu Blueprint Guide. If you guys you need help finding popular niches, popular product to sell on Zazu platform, other tips how to increase your sale. So many tips I have put in that blueprint. Go ahead, download that uh, my guide. On the link is under the description below. And don't, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next video. Bye-bye for now.